Hi, I'm Martin Adams, the originator of the Rebel Cat catamaran sailboat. Here, I'm designing the seats on Rebel Cat 5. This is where the pilot sits. And here, I'm sitting comfortably over the water, sailing the same cat. This unique sailboat is unlike anything else you will see on the water, and there are good reasons for its unusual design. This short video will show you what makes Rebel Cats unique, and why they are easy to build and fun to sail. Our story begins with Rebel Cat 1, the prototype for all Rebel Cats to follow, which actually started out as a raft. You see, I was camping in the jungle near a beautiful reservoir in Brazil. I wanted to get to an island visible from shore, so I made a pontoon raft from two sections of PVC pipe capped at both ends with traffic cones taped to the front and a small plywood deck tied on. I made an oar from bamboo and a plastic oar blade. With my raft complete, I rowed to the island with my stuff and camped there for four months using it as a base from which I explored this amazing reservoir. And the fun was just beginning. Having been a surfer, I quickly mastered the art of rowing this narrow raft while trying not to tip it over. It finally occurred to me that by turning the deck 90 degrees, the raft would be wider and thus more stable. It was this simple change which would allow this raft to be transformed into a catamaran sailboat. You see, while standing on this now stable deck, the wind would sometimes push me along from behind. And that was the, aha, maybe this raft could become a sailboat. The rest, as they say, is history, and is covered in my first YouTube video, DIY Homemade Catamaran Sailboat You Will Love, now with over 253,000 views. Over the next week, I upgraded the raft with fore and aft spreaders, rudder, centerboard, mast and boom, and a plastic sheet sail. Incredibly, the tiny cat sailed well, about as fast as I can run. I'd never made a sailboat. In fact, I'd only sailed once for five minutes on a flat-bottomed laser. The wind had died, and I had to swim half a mile to shore towing the boat. With so little sailing experience, I was thrilled that my first attempt at a sailboat was a success. But more than that, I realized that I could have made this catamaran sailboat when I was 10 or 12 years old. So I decided that when I returned to the United States, I would make this idea available to others. Surely, I thought, there are kids all over the country who live near lakes and reservoirs who would love to sail and who could probably make their own sailboats if they only knew how easy it is. Hence the DVD, which I'll mention later. Back in the USA, I designed and built Rebel Cat 2, a radical departure from the prototype. It sailed well, but it had some design flaws. Too little flotation, a heavy oversized deck, above deck storage, poor seating. So I recycled it into a raft now floating on a pond in Illinois, and the rest into parts for other cats. Despite its flaws, Rebel Cat 2 pioneered features which would become part of the Rebel Cat design. A central rotating centerboard, a single central rudder, PVC pipe pontoons stuffed with discs of foam, and a prominent bowsprit, which increases the area of the fore triangle, that's the area in front of the mast, and allows a larger foresail or jib, and a do-it-yourself sail track. I even had the main and jib halyards as well as topping lift inside the mast. Yes, it was a lot of work for a cat that only sailed once, but it taught me a lot and well worth the effort. I also learned how to sew my own sails and made them from the best Dacron polyester. I kept them for a future cat. Rebel Cat 3 was a sailboat I made from driftwood on the South Island of New Zealand. It began as a cat but ended as a raft due to the waterlogged driftwood. Rebel Cat 3 only sailed once, but it was cheered by all. It was back to the drawing board for Rebel Cat 4, and back to my prototype for inspiration. I stayed in San Diego and studied and photographed cats and other sailboats. Back in Arizona, I studied a friend's hobby cat 18. 
I didn't want a cat like that, but it was a good model anyway. I wanted a cat for cruising, not for racing, and flying a hull. I wanted to sit on a comfortable seat, not bounce around on a trampoline. I wanted storage space for a tent, sleeping bags, food, water, space not found on racing cats. So I began designing Rebel Cat 4 based on what I wanted. I began as usual with the pontoons, now 10 inches in diameter and 10 feet long. This finally was going to be the cute little cat that anyone could build and everyone would love. And then I saw something that turned my head around, the movie Waterworld. You remember Kevin Costner and his 60-foot trimaran in a post-apocalyptic water-covered world? Hmm, I thought, maybe I have to think bigger, you know, to get people's attention in a bigger is better culture where small is often ignored. So now I was determined to build a cat that nobody could ignore. I set those little pontoons aside and bought two monstrous 15-inch diameter pipes 20 feet long and then scaled the rest of the cat up to match it. I started with where I wanted to sit on a cat this big, not on a trampoline or even on a deck, but two feet over the water on a padded seat. I see Hobby added outboard seats for passengers, that's nice, but I prefer outboard seats for the pilot. It gives a clear view ahead and it counteracts the wind's pressure on the sails trying to tip the boat over. No need to hike out, you're already out. Then I put all controls within reach of these seats. It was a huge project. 100 pound pontoons, 26 foot mast, 10 foot boom, huge sails to sew, trampolines. It became clear halfway through that nobody else was going to build a cat this big and complex. But I was committed and after two months of work it was done, except for coloring the sails. Incredibly, I got most of it on my pickup's roof rack. Rebel Cat 4 sailed well and had all the best features of previous cats, but nobody else was going to build this cat, so I knew what I had to do. Go back to my pre-water world good sense and scale. Like Rebel Cat 2, Rebel Cat 4, which only sailed for a few days, was a huge leap forward with new outboard seating, wave piercing hulls, big cargo space, and personality, all of which would carry over to my next cat. I had also become addicted to the smooth ride of long pontoons. No more up and down rodeo for me. I began Rebel Cat 5 with 10 inch diameter pipes, as I had before Waterworld. But now I wanted longer pontoons. But what if I wanted a shorter cat sometimes? Like solo sailing and faster turns and maybe less boat to carry? So I pioneered another cat innovation, modular pontoons. My Rebel Cat 5 can be either 16 feet or 21 feet long, simply by removing or adding two six foot extensions. I like the smoother 21-foot ride, even solo, so I always use the extensions. One of my biggest challenges, starting with Rebel Cat 4, had been to create the knife-edge, wedge-shaped bows of modern cat hulls using PVC pipe. Traffic cones on Rebel Cats 1 and 2 worked okay, but I wasn't content with okay. I wanted wave-piercing wedges up front. So I had to invent a way to heat and shape big PVC pipe. It took a long time and many experiments. I made paper and cardboard tubes and crimped them, squashed them, folded them. And when I was getting close to a usable method, I switched to four inch diameter PVC pipe, heated over a campfire. After more heating, bending, scorched forearm hair, burned fingers, I discovered a way to cut, heat, and fold PVC pipe into perfect wedges. I had invented heat shaping for PVC pipe hulls. Rebel Cat 5 actually exceeds my expectations in the speed department. This cat really moves. Put an experienced cat sailor in my place and this cat will probably do 20 knots. 
Since the release of the DVD, How to Make a Catamaran Sailboat from PVC Pipe, I've made some improvements which can be found on my website under Rebel Cat 5 Updates. An enlarged and improved rudder turns the cat better at slow speeds, and I use the same foil design on a new centerboard with excellent results. I also modified the way I made the cones. Batten sails, if made well, make efficient use of the wind, but they are hard to make and tend to wear out more quickly than traditional triangular ones. I've gone back to triangles with good results, partly because I increased the size of the fore triangle, that is the area in front of the mast, by raising the fore stays attachment point on the mast. My new jib is large and nearly equals the mainsail, which I uh, recut from the Rebel Cat 2's jib. It's, on, it's nearly equal in size and power to the mainsail. The jibs on small cats, if they even exist, are usually tiny. And there you have it, Rebel Cat 5, a mature and totally unique catamaran sailboat design that performs extremely well. Some of the unique features of Rebel Cat 5. Small enough to carry on a roof rack in pieces. No need for a trailer. It's big enough for two adults plus two small kids. Easy to launch from a beach. No dock or boat, boat launch required. Cargo space for food, water and camping gear. All materials are available locally. No boat building skills required. Quick and easy to build with simple tools. Estimated cost of materials between $250 to $350 depending on what you already have and what you can find cheap. Smooth ride and stable even in choppy water. Faster than any monohull. Great for use as a fishing or diving platform. Can be assembled and launched by one person. Comfortable padded seats and deck with a clear view ahead. Doesn't need a carport for storage. You can hang the parts on your garage wall. Advanced sail controls. The sail controls of Rebel Cat 5. Multi-block main sheet. Traveler the full width of the cat. A downhaul, outhaul, sail track, and multiple jib fair lead positions. Some Rebel Cat 5 innovations. Heat shaped wave piercing pontoons. Comfortable outboard seating for the pilot and a good view. Central kick up centerboard. A single kick up rudder. Modular pontoons filled with foam bulkheads for safety. Under deck storage and cargo areas fore and aft. Epoxy and wood pivot points so there's no wood rot has a flat wake. Efficient hull shape adds speed. All of these features, controls and innovations translate into a sailboat that's easy to build, fast, responsive and fun to sail. Now you might think that owning such a cool catamaran will help you make friends and you would be right. Since you have enough seats for two adults plus two kids, why not invite someone aboard? Who knows, it might be the beginning of something special. Find out why so many people are excited about Rebel Cats and are building their own. Check out my website and my DVD, which will take you step by step through the construction of your own Rebel Cat 5. It comes with a 30 day money back guarantee, so why not find out if this cool cat is for you? It might be the beginning of something special. Thank you so much for watching. Sail safely.